You are watching News Brief with KGov2. I'm April Thatcher. Howard County continues to grow and change, and in the State of the County Address, Paul Wyman, Howard County Commission President, says that good things are happening without the burden of excess spending, which is great news. The county has been able to maintain a solid financial footing while taking on additional programs like the County Dispatch and Emergency Management Agency Services, saving taxpayers $700,000 per year. Speaking of change, our downtown skyline is quickly going vertical with the construction of the parking garage. Crews have been very busy this winter and have continued to work through much of the extreme winter that we have experienced. Construction is set to be completed by the end of this summer for the parking garage portion, while construction of the apartments will continue after the garage opens for public use. After completion, the structure will consist of a four-story parking garage with a 35-unit apartment complex on the fifth level. If you would like to view a live feed of construction, please visit new.livestream.com backslash KGov and click on the Garage Cam link. The City of Kokomo has plans to purchase a piece of history. Let's take a look. Here we are in the panhandle of downtown Kokomo on site of the city's last remaining railroad depot. The city will soon purchase this depot in hopes of preserving the historic building and redeveloping the area. The city will also create a hub for the connection between the Industrial Heritage Trail and the Nickel Plate Trail. The city will purchase the depot and right away from the Central Railroad Company of Indianapolis, subject to definitive transaction agreements. As part of these agreements, CERA will repair and upgrade its six existing railroad crossings within the city by the end of the year. The depot district sits on the north side of what once was a bustling center for commerce in the early part of the 20th century. It was a site where Kokomo service men and women left and returned home during both world wars. Tax day is coming up. Are you prepared? If not, then you're in luck. You may file your taxes for free at the Kokomo Howard County Public Library. The library is partnering with AARP to provide patrons with free tax return filings. Although this is being sponsored by AARP, there is no age restriction as to who can receive assistance. Call 454-4710 for more information or to schedule an appointment. What a great program! This year, Batman turned 75 and what a better way to celebrate than with a film that showcases the effects the DC Comics character has had on people from all walks of life. Join Geek This Podcast hosts David Clements and David Hunt in a viewing of the Legends of the Night and stick around for the recording of a live episode. Legends of the Night weaves together the uplifting true stories of individuals who have overcome devastating obstacles, unselfishly given to the community, and embraced their inner superhero because of their love of Batman. Through the deeply personal tales of Batman fans, writers, and filmmakers, this feature-length documentary explores the power of heroic stories and encourages viewers to find their own unique path to heroism. Funded by over 1,000 people from around the world, Legends of the Night is a return to our childhood dreams of being a hero. So put on your cape and be inspired. Please buy advance tickets to ensure that the viewing will indeed play in Kokomo. If enough tickets are sold, the event will take place Monday, April 28th at 7.30 p.m. at AMC Showplace in Kokomo. Don't forget that this coming Friday, April 4th, is First Friday in downtown Kokomo. This month is an Earth Day theme with demonstrations and special guests to share solar power and recycling creativity. Let's take a look at what one of the many downtown businesses is offering. We're here at Kokomo Toys and Collectibles with Todd Jordan. They will be participating in this month's First Friday events. 
Todd, I hear that you guys have a special guest coming. You want to tell us a little bit about that? That's right. April 4th is first Friday here in downtown Kokomo, and Kokomo Toys and Collectibles is all about nostalgia. So we are happy to announce that we're going to have the one and only original Cowboy Bob from Channel 4. He was on the air for 17 years in the 70s and 80s, and we are excited to have him. Okay. Great. We hope to see you guys there. So get on out there and see what downtown has to offer. And now for your local five-day forecast. Your local five-day forecast for the week of April 1st through April 5th. Tuesday, windy with a high of 57 and a low of 40. Wednesday, thunder showers with a high of 54 and a low of 46 a 60% chance of rain. Thursday, thunderstorms with a potential for severe thunderstorms, a high of 54, a low of 50, and a 100% chance of rain. Friday, more showers with a high of 58, a low of 33, and a 40% chance of rain. Your Saturday forecast is partly cloudy with a high of 48, a low of 29, and only a 10% chance of rain. Thank you for watching News Brief. For KGov2, I'm April Thatcher. And now for your local community calendar.